I came to Tenerife because I thought it would be super simple to come here as an EU citizen, but it wasn't as simple as I thought, but I'm here! Getting here was a little bit hard for me coming from Finland because of the flights. I had few options with the overnight stay in some airport in Madrid or somewhere else, but I thought because of the pandemic it's not good to stay in the airport. That's why there was only few options to come to Tenerife. The flights in the end were quite cheap, only 300 euros return tickets, but flights without overnight stay we're flying through Amsterdam and this moment Amsterdam requires two tests to even if you're flying through Amsterdam almost every country requires PCR tests so that's not anything uh, different but in addition Netherlands require a rapid test the rapid test needed to be done within uh, four hours before departure and as my flight the only flight I found was <laughs> departing at 7 a.m. I actually needed to go to the airport 3 a.m. And in Finland, this whole package of tests and the certificate for travel cost me 343 euros. I heard these tests in other countries, they are much more cheap than in Finland, but nevertheless, I needed to pay that much. Canary Islands also have alert levels for specific islands, and Tenerife was alert level 2. And if it would have been alert level 3, then it wouldn't be able to enter this island and I was stressing about it a lot during the week or two before my trip because if that would have changed I couldn't be able to come here and yeah in the end it was all at level 2 when I entered so I didn't have any problems with that either but just be careful if you are thinking of traveling here it should be alert level 1 or 2 in that island you are going if you want to enter in my knowledge you can check that in canary islands own page and of course good thing about coming here during these times is that there's less crowds there's less people at the beach and uh, airbnbs and stuff they're more cheap but there's also some bad things about coming this time it feels like most of the hotels are closed so it can be a good thing if you are going to Airbnb and you don't want to have big crowds everywhere. And also it's of course more safe when there's less people during these times. But uh, still it feels like, for example, in this town, almost everything is closed. So if you are traveling and wanting to shop and go to restaurants and do stuff like that, it can be a little bit hard. This beach, for example, I'm sure it would be so busy in a normal year. Now there's just few people, it's always like this. There's no one or just few people. And this hotel area, for example, it's closed, it's dirty, the pool, there's no one, there's like these fences between the hotel area and the beach. And I think that hotel is also closed. And it seems like almost every hotel here is closed and this hotel is also closed and there should be a way to go to the beach here but it's also closed i'm not sure i guess they are renovating something and but they closed the whole beach and there's this street full of restaurants and shops few restaurants open but most of, most of them are closed and that supermarket is closed some things are open here and in the other towns, which are bigger, it seems like more places are open, but uh, still it's a common theme here. Closed, closed, closed. But all of the nature things are all always, of course, open. So if you're more interested in those, it's not a big problem, I guess, with these shops and restaurants. And there's still restaurants open. We have been eating out a few times. Closed, closed, yeah, all of the essential things we at least need here are open. Good thing about this situation is if you find Airbnb as ours with the pool area and stuff. And if you just want to enjoy the weather by the pool, that's very peaceful right now because there's not lots of people here. But it's still pretty busy here, so it's not like this whole island would be closed, but it's still something to think about if you want to come here. And when you are here, there's just a few things you need to know. So one thing is that you need to wear masks in public areas. 
I think the rule is that you don't need to wear a mask if you are running outside or exercising because I see lots of people not wearing masks if they are running and we heard that from someone, I don't remember anymore who, who it was, but you also can't go outside between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. We also heard from a local that that's not, if you have an emergency or something, if you need something from supermarket or something, there's 24-7 supermarkets you actually go, can go outside but it has to be emergency i think these two rules are the biggest one while you are living here you need to know but other than that i don't know it seems like it's pretty much normal life here just more places are closed less people masks and not going outside during night so we have to wear the mask all the time outside but which is okay it's just like when it's like really warm or really hot it's annoying but it's because as soon as you step out of the house you really have to wear the mask and everyone does that even if you go like closer to the beach people are still wearing masks but besides that i feel like there's nothing really that we can't do you know yeah it's actually not too bad at the moment because all the restaurants are open yeah you're not allowed to go out anymore after 10 o'clock which is not that bad <laughs> I don't like I don't mind but I think if you want to come if you come here and want to party and stuff you should really make sure like think about that there's this curfew so during these times it seems to be so hard to travel and I think this is one place that it's not as hard but there's still things to figure out so hopefully this video is helpful and see you next time